Windows Phone users are finally getting an official Instagram app. I'm Oliver from WinBeta, and in this video I'm going hands-on with Instagram for Windows 10 Mobile. This new Instagram app is an unfinished beta version that Instagram is using to net feedback from Windows 10 Mobile users about any bugs and issues they encounter. To achieve this, the app offers you the functionality to physically shake the phone to invoke the feedback function. This function between the two devices I've tested doesn't actually work though, leaving me curious as to how we're supposed to guard the guards, so to speak. Aside from the hideous app tile, this app is virtually identical to the finished iOS version. Everything from the layout, to the animations, to the gestures, the look and feel, and even the completely iOS-esque UI semantics are ripped straight from its Apple counterpart. I'm usually not a fan of these kind of listless development efforts, but in this case I can't complain, as the iOS version is quite good, beautiful even, and translates well to the Windows platform. I will say this though, Instagram. If you guys were just going to do a straight one-to-one -one clone, making no effort to adapt to the new platform, why did it take so long? The UI is divided into five tabs, each delineated by beautifully transparent icons found on the navigation bar on the bottom. Of particular note are the Person tab on the bottom right, which exposes the Settings function on the top right, and the painfully conspicuous Camera icon in the center, which exposes the Photo and Video Capturing functionality. You can select three sources of self-aggrandizing content, your own library, your photo camera, or your video camera, each of which have very polished UIs with not very polished functionality. For example, on my Lumia 950, the Lux Adjuster, on top of being painfully slow, doesn't actually work. Camera focusing doesn't work either. And really, the whole post-photo processing section doesn't work reliably either. On the instances it does work though, it's great. Usually, with these kind of betas, we get half-assed UIs with sloppy and jerky animation, but that isn't the case. Even in this first release beta form, the UI is exceedingly polished, almost to the same standard as the finished iOS version. Notifications actually work, Finer details like dragging filter items to customizable locations have been accounted for, along with a comprehensive suite of settings and preferences, another rarity in betas like these. The aforementioned bugs are transparent enough and will sort themselves out in the near future. And when they are, Instagram will have a Windows 10 mobile app that's every bit as worthy as the official iOS version. And for good reason. Because they're exactly the same. See you guys next time.